Before we go and make the rest of our content dynamic and expression engine, we need to talk about a performance parameter that the channel entries tag has. If you remember, the channel entries tag um, is this channel entries that we just set to URL title home in our template. And there is one parameter in specific called the disable tag that is not needed, but is something that's very helpful to add to your code. And what it does is it tells Expression Engine you do not need to go and get information from the database on the following. And the options that we have to disable are categories, category fields, custom fields, member data, and pagination. In the case of our main content um, pages channel, we do not need any categories or category fields. We do need our custom fields because we have a page content custom field. We don't need member data and we don't need any pagination. So what we can do is using the following pipe concatenated format, we could say disable equal to and then all of these um, fields that we don't need to get. And when you have um, even just one call um, using the expression engine channel, channel entries tag um, on a page this can be helpful especially when you have several calls um, it, it does make a difference to make to turn these off when you don't need them so what we're going to do is we'll, we'll take this code and we'll add it to our home page and then go start using that format to um, add to the rest of these pages so if we go into our home page let's just add this one last parameter and got it here, disable is equal to categories, pagination, member data, category fields, oh, that's twice, um, just like that. And this disable is something that um, folks commonly use as a snippet. So if you know that you need to commonly disable all of these, let's go ahead, we could X this out, say snippet, disable options update this page come into our snippets and we'll create a new snippet called snippet disable options and we'll paste these in here and this is a really great use of a snippet because um, Disabling is something that you want to use as often as possible. So if you have these snippet disable options um, in one place, it's, it's easier to uh, manage. And let's just make sure that we got this name correctly. If we come back into the template, you can see that the way that the parsing works is that we could put a snippet inside of an expression engine entries call. So that's something that's that's uh, very powerful there. Now that we have this, this is pretty much the same thing that we're going to do on every single page, except um, on the other pages, what we'll do is we will just change the URL title. So that URL title um, will change based on the page, and then that should update the content dynamically. So let's go ahead and get all our templates set up. So if we come into our, say, About page, what we'll do is we will paste this in and we'll say we're going to use a URL title called About. And let's go ahead and cut this out. We'll update our, our title here as well. About EE Freelancer. And then let's go ahead and publish a new page, and we'll title this page the About page. We'll make the URL title up just About, because that's what uh, we just told it in the template we we're going to do. And then, oh, we do not need all of this. Still get to our About, and no, we deleted it. Uh, we do not need all of this markup here. We have our image tag though. 
we can just go ahead and take these out. It will generate that for us, and that just looks a little bit cleaner from a content entry point of view. Um, we have this image with a class of static feature, and you know if we if that didn't just copy in, we could also um, click through and get it through uh, the file browser format. Um, and about me, let's change that to about ee freelancer, and then if this you are title is correct and when we hit submit and go back and refresh the page look at that our content shows up perfectly so that's great let's go ahead and look at this template though because we can make one more tweak and what we could do is we could say if you're in the about page we could actually remove URL title and if we delete this expression engine will automatically look at the URL segment up here and match that to and pull out the content for that entry. Notice though that it's also doing um, these other ones pulling in. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Let's go ahead and we'll change that back. stick to the script there. Okay, so now we will go though and do the same thing for the other pages um, and we'll start with the services page. We'll just take this main content here because we will handle this custom content for the page a different way. We'll come back into services. Oh, sorry, publish services. Services page. Make the URL title just services h1 Oops, sorry h1 publish that page and then we can come to the template our services template and actually first what we want to do is we'll just get the code here for our entry and we'll come into the services page and we'll replace the content here because we don't want to replace the services section like I said we'll handle those differently but we can just change this to services update the title for the page and that there let's go ahead and click update and let's come back to our services page and it looks the exact same, so that's good. We move on to the portfolio, same way. Go ahead and publish this portfolio page. Remember the URL title has to be portfolio. We'll paste in our content at our H1. go ahead and publish this and then we'll go update our template and again we'll get that, that same little bit of code there from the about page and notice that we're using this an awful lot and it's not uncommon to use this little section as its own embed so that we don't have to copy and paste the same code um, that would be a good best practice but for this case um, we'll just go ahead and keep typing this out manually. <coughs> and we'll test that. The portfolio page still looks good. Now our contact page, there's no actual content that you would think you would really need to update through um, the control panel, except maybe this content over here, although we're going to do something a little bit different with that, and we're not actually going to make um, a page in Expression Engine for Contact Us, and we'll just handle this um, one a little bit differently. So, if we come back to our content, that means that we have in each one of these pages now a dynamic setup, um, and on the front of, end of it, our home, about, services, and portfolio, 
we can now all manage from within Expression Engine, including changing the title and any content here. We can even add images to this if we want as well. At this point, the next thing to do is to start going through the site and finding some of these other little sections that don't quite fit in with the classic page content structure and doing something with those as well. Um, the services, the categories of service that we have, this portfolio section as well here, and then finally we'll make the contact page work. But first we're just going to do another look through the template and start doing um, some things with some of the other dynamic content. And we'll start with this section down here at the bottom of the home page.